because I'm making my own custom ones to put into the game itself. Big of James Milan. Kicking towards Rumjid's end. Oh, that's very good. That is very good indeed. We have, um, well, the right sides, pretty much. We don't have to do a whole Liverpool uh, version where you kick towards the home fans or your team's fans in the second half. We will not need to do that. Trying to go short of the corner. Barrea chips it in. And Achebe draws a brilliant save from Courtois. Looks to be a goal kick. Then we do get Napoli and Roma back. So uh, you win some, you lose some. Literally. Here's Drew Bellingham. The nice little dummy. Valverde. Good look to shoe. Has Rodrigo on the turn. Back here to come and that is lovely work, and it's in. Well, I'm not sure how Jan Son didn't save that, but it is 1-0 to Real Madrid. They could actually win something for once. In this, uh, well, franchise, let's say. Look at that, beautiful twinkle toes. One, two, in and out of the inter-defense. Oh, okay, then they've not gone for him. I thought they were going to do a bit of a cheat code there. Damien, away from Fulham Mendy, he's been in for pace and for skill. Toe line back to Martinez, and a heavy touch takes it away from Inter Milan. Bellingham, not too alongside, once Valverde coming up, rushing up, and now Rodrigo into Vinicius Jr., and he's storming through. Damien's lost sight of him, it's 2 0. It's a commanding lead. And the potential future Ballon d'Or winner. With another crucial goal. 25 minutes in, I've just seen from the scoreboard. Gonna to keep the pressure on. Mendy. Kamavinga. Dispossessed by Damien, now Sommer. Hoping to help out with the attack, blasting it forward. So far, the ultimate cup is in Real Madrid's hands. And they are definitely not going to let go of it anytime soon. Unless, what can Inter conjure up? Damien is a free man. We went for it. And Courtois to be ready. Didn't look like it was going in. You can never be too sure. Especially when it comes to world class players like these. Sure, again, it's not really worked out the last few times. They faked it this time. It's coming out of Chevy again, and Courtois got to be ready that time. In the right place at the right time was the Belgian. I feel like Coverhill could have blocked it on the line, but better safe than sorry. Let's see, first off draws to a close, and uh, Bellingham caught in possession as Berea storms through. Swinging it for Martinez, who's been really quiet this game. That's not what his team needs. Especially in a big moment like this. And Real Madrid, once again, counter-attacking football. Vinicius Jr. And still Vinicius. And still. True many. Ah, that's not going to work, but hang on a minute. Dispossessed, and Valverde, it could be three. It's a massive save by Jan Sommer. I don't know how it was in three. Valverde with a golden opportunity. It's a third. Can't have a first off dagger like that. Let's get this game to be exciting, please. <laughs> Bellingham. Vinicius. And still Vinicius. Oh, what a goal! 
just put a cherry on the top of things. And it's pretty much still the ultimate cup for Real Madrid. This is a delight to watch. It looks like he's stumbling, but he just works it into his uh, strong left foot. Jude Bellingham. And the marker will prevent any more damage for the time being. Bellingham deflected off Bastoni. Now lead to a Real Madrid corner. I think that first of the matchup. As big of which Inter Milan were already playing in real life a uh, Milan derby. They have leveled the scores. 1-1 one, one there. As DeMarco as well. Rodrigo. And Rudiger almost scores a fourth. Chanoglu, and now Martinez storming through. This is a big chance for Inter Milan. They've got to take this. It's Martinez up against Courtois. It is in just. He needs to get the ball. Oh well. That's one. They need two more. we are just six minutes of the second half. That is one hell of a start on the road to recovery. Fair play to Courtois, by the way. He almost keeps this out. Oh, fingertips. Just not enough. Just going to keep their guard up, Real Madrid. Especially not allowing counter attacks like that, because that is pretty to land thrive upon. Absorb pressure and then hidden on the counter. It works just so well. It works pretty soon. Beautiful, Google. Chandler almost puts himself in a bit of danger there. Here's DeMarco. Schumann getting dragged all across the pitch. DeMarco. A lot of freedom now for Inter Milan. And what a ball that is. It's Barea. It's off the post. Oh, what a chance to bring this back within one goal. But Inter Milan making a defensive change. Damien off De Vrij on. Let's see what he does on the right-hand side. Slippery slope against uh, Vinicius. Turn on blue. Here we go. That's a brilliant challenge. It keeps the Real Madrid lead at two. And again, into Milan hitting once more on the counter. Here's Marcus Tura and Bikaterin looking to go on side. Chance wasn't there. Here's the Vry. Bikaterin straight at Courtois. When near post, Courtois read him. As Madrid looks to shop up their defence, and Emilio Tau come on. He surge, can he get it past? Yes, he can. Into Martinez. He was definitely woken up in the second half. I say that, and he's just giving it straight back to Schumann. Modric into Drew Bellingham. Vinicius. Finds Carla Hal from wing to wing. So Carvajal up against Marco takes it in with ease, this is Vinicius Jr, brilliant work into Rodrigo, this will be a wonderful Real Madrid goal, and Schumann with a header, in the edge of the box, might as well try it, when you're ahead, wonderful, Barea, going to storm down the wing up against his uh, opposite number, and loses out, wasn't even a real battle there. Federico Valverde. On he goes. Carvajal. Hossolu. Not there. Bordrich. And Chanoglu falls over his own feet, says Hossolu. Skies over the bar. The last kick he had in that Ultimate League final. And the last chance as well. Shit's being wet.